Hello, welcome to the seventh lecture of two phase flow and heat transfer. So, today's topic is slug flow model. So, at the end of this lecture, we will be understanding the following points. We will identify the important non dimensional numbers to specify the velocity of the slug bubble. We will be predicting the velocity of the slug bubble using drift flux model and laminar regime we will be finding out how the velocity is changing for turbulent flow. We will be calculating the film superficial velocity around the gaseous plug inside a vertical tube and we will be understanding the assessment of pressure drop inside the horizontal slug flow. Now, to give you better understanding what is slug flow, I have shown you here a schematic so you can find out that in this schematic we are having a Taylor bubble as gaseous plug over here and in between two gaseous plug we will be having liquid slug. So, in real slug bubble uh, regime you will be finding out lots of satellite bubbles are here preceding this gaseous plug, but for simplicity and purpose of analysis we have eliminated those satellite bubbles we are only dealing with the gaseous plug over here and followed by a liquid slug. So, it will be some sort of repetitive pattern of gaseous slug and uh, gaseous plug and liquid slug. So, what we have considered over here, we have considered that this is a unit cell where we will be finding out a gaseous plug is over here at the top of that we are having a portion of the liquid slug from the previous uh, gaseous plug and at the bottom of that we are having another portion of the liquid uh, slug for this uh, gaseous plug. So, this cell will be actually continuing in the bottom side as well as top side right. So, our point of concern is over here this unit cell ok. Now, let us consider this unit cell if you see minutely this unit cell we are having gaseous plug, but around that we are having liquid film also ok. So, here we are having liquid film, here also we are having liquid film. Now, this gaseous plug will be moving up with a velocity u b and uh, to accommodate that movement of the gaseous uh, plug the liquid needs to come down ok. So, here you will be finding out the liquid velocity uh, volumetric flow rate of the liquid uh, we have considered over here q f dashed right. And uh, to recognize the film thickness over here we have considered the film thickness is delta and in the uh, uh, vertical portion of the uh, uh, slug bubble we have considered that the film thickness is becoming uniform and that thickness is actually d infinity right and obviously we know that pipe diameter we always represent with capital D and the overall flow rates for the liquid and gas that is q f and q g. Remember though the liquid is actually coming down over here uh, with a uh, volumetric flow rate of q f dashed actually the liquid overall is movement moving up because this liquid slug is being pushed by the uh, uh, bottom tailor uh, bottom uh, gaseous plug and uh, overall movement of the liquid is also in the upward direction along with the gas. So, you can find out q f is also in the upward direction along with q g right. So, uh, at first let us try to find out that uh, how this uh, 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 rise velocity of this gaseous plug can be calculated. So, for that there are uh, lots of uh, correlations available experimentally observed correlations available. Uh, the best one is this one uh, k 1 is equals to 0 0.345 into 1 minus e to the power minus 0 0.01 nf divided by 0 0.345 into 1 minus e to the power. 3.37 minus Yodvos number by m right. Let us uh, uh, find out what are these terms first k 1. So, k 1 is actually rho f u infinity square. So, where rho f is actually the liquid density and u infinity is the uh, terminal velocity of the bubble of the uh, gaseous plug and we are having d pipe diameter g into rho f minus rho g to the power half. Okay. So, we can put this whole expression over here which we will be getting as a function of u infinity. 
Then in the expression if you go further we are having another non dimensional number which is n f this is actually inverse non dimensional viscosity. So, you can find out this n f is actually represented as d cube g into rho f minus rho g into rho f to the power half divided by mu f. So, as mu f is in denominator, so we call this one as uh, uh, inverse uh, uh, viscosity, non dimensional viscosity. On the other hand, if you progress further, we are having Yodhvos number. So, Yodhvos number all of we know, once again to represent that Yodhvos number will be d square g rho f minus rho g divided by sigma. So, here we get uh, the ratio between the uh, buoyancy force and surface tension force. Here we get the ratio between your buoyancy force and viscous force and here inertia and your uh, buoyancy force. right? Uh, now, only empirical constant over here left is m. So, m will be 10 if your non-dimensional inverse viscosity is higher than 250. m can be represented as 69 n f to the power minus 0 0.35 if n f varies in between 18 to 250 and if n f is less than 18 that means for very viscous flow you will be finding out m is equals to 25. Right. So, if I put all these non dimensional numbers over here, so all other parameters will be known, only unknown will be u infinity. So, one can find out the uh, velocity of the uh, gaseous plug. Right. Next, uh, once we know uh, the gaseous plug uh, velocity, then we have to find out what is the uh, superficial velocity and how uh, this uh, can be found out for some uh, different situations like laminar and turbulent zones. So, let us try to see that how in a slug plug flow uh, bubble velocity varies. So, first we have shown you over here average liquid slug velocity will be nothing but j okay, which is equals to all, all of we know that j equals to q by a and q can be written as q g plus q f. Okay. So, q g and q f already I have shown you in the figure here this is q f and this is q g. Okay. So, you will be finding out that j is actually q g plus q f by a. Now, for a free rising bubble, so let us say the bubble is moving freely. So, we know that u b will be actually uh, symbolizing the gas velocity. So, bubble velocity eventually will become the gas velocity. So, we can write down u b is equals to u g. Right. And uh, if we see that uh, what is the velocity uh, in comparison to the uh, o average overall velocity that means the velocity slip in comparison to the average overall velocity that will be u j g that is actually equivalent to u infinity which you have calculated in the previous slide. Okay. Next uh, over here you see in this equation if we put u b which is equivalent to your u g. So, here we will be finding out j plus u g j. Right. Now, u g j uh, just now we have shown that is actually u infinity. So, we will be finding out u b is equals to j plus u infinity. Okay. So, this new expression we get u b is equals to j plus u infinity. Uh, this is valid for a, a laminar bubble movement in a slug plug flow. Right. So, this u infinity is the unconstrained uh, bubble velocity. So, if you uh, do not consider the uh, walls inside the slug plug flow, then this u infinity can be found out uh, from the previous expression over here. Uh, and uh, a bubble velocity in slug plug flow can be found out by adding j along with the uh, u infinity. Okay. Now, already we know that if we have to find out that what is the average void fraction, average void fraction alpha can be written as j g by u g. Okay. Now, we know uh, that u g will be u b. So, actually the alpha in this slug plug flow case we can be write, we can be, we can write this one as j g by u b. Okay. So, uh, ultimately we get for laminar flow u b is equals to j plus u infinity and alpha average void fraction is equals to j g by u b. Remember in this type of slug plug flow case the uh, void fraction at different cross section will be changing with respect to time as the flow progresses because here whenever we are uh, uh, seeing through this liquid slug obviously void fraction will be 0 and uh, here if you see over here we will be having a, a finite amount of void fraction. So, we are always interested to find out the average void fraction in the cell. Okay. Now, 
here we have talked about the laminar flow let us see what happens if we are having fully developed turbulent flow okay so if we are having fully developed turbulent flow we will be finding out that the bubble velocity is changing little bit so what we can do empirically we can add two constants over here two constants over here c1 and c2 along with the expression whatever we have found out for ub in the laminar regime so already we have shown in the laminar regime ub is j plus u infinity for turbulent regime we are writing down ub is equals to c1 j plus c2 into u infinity right now uh, various uh, researchers they have proposed the values of c1 and c2 wallis has proposed that uh, you can take for slug block flow c1 equals to 1.2 and c2 equals to 1 if your uh, overall reynolds number is in is actually greater than 8000 okay so if your reynolds number is in between 2000 to 8000 this expression will not be valid if it is more than 8000 then only you can apply c2 equals to 1.2 and c1 equals to 1.2 and c2 equals to 1 right now using this mean void fraction what we can write down alpha what i have earlier showed you over here which is nothing but jg by ub so same thing we can write down over here alpha is equals to qg now this jg can be converted to qg by a okay qg by ag so that can be written as qg and ag will be absorbing over here so in place of in place of your ub we are writing down c1j plus c2 into u infinity so c1j now j can be once again written as jg plus jf and jg can be written as qg by ag and qg by a and uh, jf can be written as qf by a so you can find out here we are having qg by a here we are having qg by a and here we are having qf by a so a can be cancelled out and a can be absorbed in the last term which was c2 into u infinity so c2 into u infinity into a so this becomes the expression for alpha for turbulent flow right now uh, as we know that not only the value of alpha and the velocities of the bubble will be important important will be to know what is the pressure drop so here i have given you the expression for pressure drop in slug plug flow also so you see minus dp dz can be written as uh, the buoyancy uh, pressure drop so this is g into rho f into 1 minus alpha now this alpha will be uh, actually used from the previous calculation the average alpha whatever we have found out so rho f into 1 minus alpha plus rho g into alpha this, this is from the buoyancy and then 1 minus alpha into ff so we are using uh, fluid part only assumption okay so uh, uh, ff into 2 into rho f j square by d Okay. So, as you are dealing with uh, slug flow finding out the uh, uh, liquid uh, superficial velocity and gas superficial velocity will be difficult. So, what we do we find out the overall uh, superficial velocity j and we express uh, uh, the frictional pressure drop in terms of fluid part. Okay. So, f f we are using over here this uh, frictional portions we have already discussed in uh, previous lectures. Okay. Now, uh, after finding out the uh, friction factor, it is also very important to know that uh, what will be the uh, liquid flow rate, okay, what is uh, coming out in the downward side. Okay. So, uh, to assess that, first let us get what is the gaseous flow rate. So, gaseous flow rate will be the flow of the gaseous plug. So, this is Qg dashed and liquid flow rate will be Qf dashed. So, Qg dashed can be written as uh, the area occupied by the uh, liquid uh, uh, sorry gaseous plug multiplied by the velocity of the uh, gas. So, here what we have considered the pipe diameter was d and we have considered that you, uh, this uh, thickness of the film uniform thickness of the film around the uh, gaseous plug is d infinity. So, overall we will be finding out the diameter of this gaseous plug is d minus 2 into delta infinity. So, we will be finding out the area of this gaseous plug if we consider a perfect cylinder uh, as this gaseous plug. So, it will be pi by 4 into d minus 2 delta square. Okay. So, this is the area of the gaseous plug considering it as cylinder multiplied by its uh, velocity ug. So, we will be finding out this is the gas flow rate in this cell. right? Now, uh, let us try to find out what is uh, liquid uh, flow rate. So, what we will be doing uh, as we know the overall flow rate, overall flow rate we know from summation of qf plus qg. So, I can write down q is equals to in situ qg dashed minus qf dashed. Now, this qg dashed is will be never equivalent to this qg. 
okay because they are different because in this case we are having no gaseous phase right in the liquid slug we are having no gaseous phase so here we can find out this q as qf plus qg and that can be written as qg dashed minus qf dashed why this qf dashed minus because in this cross section if we see this cross section this dotted line here qf is in the now negative direction right so we can write down qf dashed divided by a is equals to q g dashed by a minus q by a. So, from this expression I can write down q f dashed equals to q minus q g dashed and if we divide it by a we get this expression the left hand side can be written as j f dashed okay, because q f dashed by a is nothing but j f dashed. Okay, so, we get j f dashed is equals to q g dashed by a. Now, what is q g dashed? Once again, we have uh, written over here or assessed found out the value of q g dashed gaseous flow rate. So, this will be written over here and a which is nothing but the area of the pipe. pipe so, that will be pi by 4 into d square. So, I can write down over here uh, in terms of a, a pi by 4 d square and obviously, we know that q by a is actually j. Right. So, if we simplify this first term in the right hand side, we will be getting something around 1 minus 2 into delta infinity by d whole square into u b. Now, this u g we are converting to u b because we know here this gaseous uh, velocity, uh, gaseous plug velocity will be same as the uh, uh, bubble velocity. Okay. So, we get j f dashed is equals to 1 minus 2 into delta infinity by d whole square u b minus j. Okay. So, already we have found out what is u b in the in the previous slides for uh, turbulent cases. So, same formula we will be using over here 1.2 into j by u infinity plus 1. So, that was actually 1.2 into j plus of u infinity. So, if you take u infinity common uh, and then divide the whole expression by u infinity. So, this left side left hand side will become j f dashed by u infinity, right hand side will become 1.2 into j by u infinity plus 1 and then this expression multiplier will be this this is coming from the area uh, ratios. So, this will be staying over here and and the last term will remain as minus j by u infinity. So, in this way we can find out the uh, liquid flow rate, liquid superficial uh, velocity uh, in the in the cross section uh, where gaseous plug is present. Right? Next, uh, if we consider the falling film theory, then this uh, j f dashed by u infinity can be predicted from uh, falling film theory. So, that has been discussed by uh, meiosis and Griffith. I will not go into detail of this one, but uh, I will be showing you that how empirically can be found out uh, that uh, falling film theory using falling film theory how the liquid velocity superficial velocity can be found out. So, here you see uh, this velocity will be nothing but j f dashed by u infinity will be 3.85 n f, n f already we have discussed that is uh, in uh, uh, non dimensional inverse viscosity into delta infinity uh, uniform film thickness divided by d whole cube. Uh, this expression val is valid for uh, Reynolds number, film Reynolds number uh, less than 3500. The definition of film Reynolds number I have given over here. So, film Reynolds number is nothing but q we have dashed by a into u infinity into 0 0.345 into n f. And if this film Reynolds number is larger than this 3500, then we can use this expression j f dashed by u infinity is equals to 183 into d infinity by d to the power 3 by 2. Right? Next, let us shift to a horizontal slug flow from the vertical one. So, here I have shown once again the uh, schematic of horizontal slug flow. So, you can find out that in case of horizontal slug flow, this is once again like a Taylor bubble. So, this is actually a uh, gaseous uh, plug in between we are having in between two gaseous plug, we are having a liquid slug. Once again, the same situation, this is having bubble velocity, the film thickness we have represented as delta. Okay. And here uh, I have uh, shown the length of the uh, bubble as L b and length of the liquid slug as L s. Now, if we start from the very basic continuity equation, then I can write down A b into u b is equals to A into j. Why? Because you see in this uh, horizontal slug flow, actually the movement of the bubble will be causing the overall flow 
because otherwise uh, it is not assisted by buoyancy, the flow is not assisted by buoyancy. So, you will be finding out when the bubble is moving that it will be only causing the flow. So, if you see from the continuity side, if we find out what is the uh, volumetric flow rate for this uh, bubble, so which is nothing but A B into U B, that will be responsible for the overall flow A into J, right. Now, from here, if we try to find out uh, that what is the value of u b, so u b will be a by a b into j, right. Now, a once again we know that will be pi by 4 d square, capital D is the tube diameter and a b I can write down as uh, uh, pi by 4 uh, 1 minus 2 uh, pi by 4 d square into 1 minus 2 delta by d whole uh, to the power minus 2, which I have already shown you in the uh, vertical case, okay into j will be remaining from here. So, here we are having j, so the same j will be remaining over here. Okay. So, uh, already I have shown you the expression over here, so you can find out. So, this uh, from this we are getting this expression. So, u b finally after cancelling this d square and d to the power minus 2 comes out as 1 plus 4 delta by d into j. Okay. Now, uh, this uh, we can write down whenever we consider delta by d less less than 2. Why? Because this is a polynomial. So, if we find out that this delta by d is very small than 1, then only I can write down this is actually 1 minus 2 into minus 2 into delta by d. So, which is actually 1 plus 4 delta by d. Okay. So, this expression bubble velocity is valid only for very small film thickness compared to the pipe diameter. If it is not small, then we have to uh, go with the overall x overall polynomial and we have to evaluate the value. Okay. Now, let us see just like our uh, vertical case, what are the important non-dimensional numbers in case of horizontal slug flow. So, important non-dimensional numbers first one is j mu wave by sigma. Okay. Second one we can take as j d by nu f. So, this is having the viscous effect, this is having the surface tension effect compared to viscous effect and another one we can derive as lambda which will be the uh, ratio between these two. Okay. So, here you will be finding out that in this uh, we are having three parameters lambda uh, j mu f by sigma and j d by mu f. If you try to find out that how this parameters are actually interlinked, then we can plot uh, something like this. So, in the abscissa, we are having uh, the first non-dimensional number j mu wave by sigma and in the ordinate, we are having the second one which is actually j by u b. So, here this is actually non-dimensional bubble velocity, uh, uh, non-dimensionalized by the overall superficial velocity and here we will be finding out several curves having different lambda values. So, lambda is actually the uh, ratio between in this two non-dimensional numbers and its value is rho, mu f square divided by uh, d rho f into sigma. Okay. So, here we can find out uh, that the curve will be varying like this for a, a low viscous fluid we will be finding out that bubble velocity is high okay. and we, we will be finding out that for different lambda uh, as lambda, lambda increases we will be finding out that the curve is falling actually in the downward side. Right. This has been proposed by Wallis. Next, uh, let us try to find out what is the bubble velocity in this case and the uh, overall uh, void fraction. So, as we know already that u b is nothing but c 1 into j plus c 2 into u infinity for turbulent situations. Uh, so, here what we can do u infinity we can make 0 because it is in horizontal pipeline. So, there will be no uh, uh, velocity uh, unconstant velocity of the bubble. So, you can write down u infinity is equals to 0. So, we get u b is equals to c 1 into j over here c 1 into j. Right. Now, uh, once again various correlations are there. One very important correlation is for finding out the c 1 for uh, horizontal slug, slug flow c 1 will be 1 plus 1 1.27 into 1 minus e to the power minus 3.8 into u f j by uh, 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 sigma to the power 0 0.8. Right. Okay. Now, uh, if we want to calculate the void fraction also, you see void fraction alpha will be j g by u g. So, j g by u g, uh, we know that u g will be actually your u b because gaseous phase is only limited in the bubble. So, we will be finding out u g by u b. 
okay and already I have shown you u b is equals to c 1 j. So, what we can write down j g by c 1 into j. So, u b has been replaced by c 1 into j. So, we get 1 by c 1 and then j g by j, j can be written as j g plus j f okay in the first lecture I have shown you this part right and once again j's can be converted into corresponding q's. So, you can write down that alpha is equals to 1 by c 1 q g by q g plus q f. So, over here q g by q g plus q f right. Now, let us try to assess that what will be the uh, pressure drop across this luck block flow. So, here we are uh, writing first uh, or we are assessing first the volume of the bubble. So, uh, we can find out that volume of the bubble will be V into uh, alpha and uh, this volume of bubble this volume can be written as A into L s plus L b. Now, this A into L s plus L b is the volume for the unitary, unitary uh, width of the uh, uh, cell whatever we have shown over here that we are having a gaseous plug and a liquid slug. So, if we, con if we consider a um, unit, so this unit volume is this one. A is the pipe diameter and L s is the slug length and L b is the bubble length. So, we can find out that V v turns out to be A into L s plus L b into alpha. Now, already we have shown that for long bubble we will be finding out u b is equals to c 1 into j in the previous slide we have shown u b is equals to c 1 into j. So, what we can do we can write down c 1 1 by c 1 is actually equals to j by u b. Okay. So, uh, now let us try to find out what is this j and u in terms of the volumetric flow rates. So, j can be written as q by a huh? and u b can be written as q b by a b. Okay. And as we know that q and q b uh, both will be same because uh, the slug bubble is actually causing the flow inside the pipeline. So, we can find out that 1 by c 1 comes out to be the ratio of a b by a. Okay. Now, what is A b? A b once again can be written as V b by L b because bubble volume will be actually your area of the bubble and length of the bubble. Okay. So, ultimately I get 1 by C 1 is equals to V b by A L b. Right. Now, <coughs> related to pressure drop already we know as it is a horizontal pipe. So, for horizontal cases your uh, gravitational pressure drop will be 0. So, del minus del p del z for z gravitational head is actually buoyancy head is actually 0, but there will be frictional head. So, frictional head I can write down minus del p del z f will be 2 into f f here we am considering fluid part. Okay. So, 2 f f into rho f into j square by d. Okay. Now, if we are considering uh, that uh, uh, inside dynamics of the Taylor bubble that means the gaseous uh, dynamics inside the Taylor bubble, then we will be finding out one uh, multiplier is necessary. So, this multiplier has been proposed by Wallis over here in 1969. So, this multiplier is L s plus 4 d divided by L s plus L b. So, in, uh, dependent on the slug length and the bubble length and the tube diameter. Okay. So, next let us try to find out that this uh, pressure drop how that can be simplified and found out in the form of uh, volumetric qualities. So, already we have shown that minus del p del z will be 2 f f rho f into j square by d l s plus 4 d by l s plus l b. Now, let me simplify this part. So, this I can write down easily 1 minus l b by l s plus l b plus 4 d by L s plus L b. Basically, this first two term gives me L s by L s plus L b. Okay. Then, uh, this uh, L b uh, and L s plus L b I can I can replace. So, L s plus L b quickly I can write as A into V b because already I have shown V b is equals to A into L s plus L b into alpha. Right. So, L s plus L b will be V b by A alpha. So, what I can do here I have written a v b by alpha right and for l b i have written v b c 1 into a okay v b c 1 into a why because this l b is actually the length of the bubble so length of the bubble will be actually uh, merged with the volume of the bubble over here so volume of the bubble into the area of the bubble will be coming out as the length of the bubble okay so here we can find out that both this l b and l s plus l b has been replaced by this factor and here once again this L s plus L b has been done by same treatment. So, this will be V by A once again V by A. So, if you uh, simplify it further ultimately I will be getting minus del p del z equals to 2 f f 
rho f j square by d into 1 minus c1 into alpha plus 4 d a by v. Now, here in this expression you see c1 is actually empirical parameter. So, using this you, uh, this can be found out uh, from Wallis correlation whatever I have uh, explained you earlier okay? and rest things we can find out from the slug plug flow and can be evaluated. Okay, to summarize, uh, in this lecture we have understood the procedure of calculation for terminal velocity of a Taylor bubble from non-dimensional numbers. We have evaluated the liquid film superficial velocity around the gaseous plug from geometrical configurations. We have formulated velocity of bubble in horizontal slug flow situation okay? and in that we have consider, considered that we are having thin film around the uh, bubble. And at the end, we have presented the procedure for calculation of pressure drop inside a horizontal slug situation. Okay? Next, let us test how you have uh, gone through this lecture. Uh, so, we are having once again three questions. First, in slug flow around the gaseous plug, liquid velocity is four options we are having upward, oscillating, downward and horizontal. So, uh, mostly you have understood what is the answer, correct answer is downward because liquid will be having downward velocity around the slug. Okay, second question, which force is considered for calculation of rise velocity of a single bubble? Okay, we are having four options, buoyancy, inertia, viscous and surface tension, which force is important for calculation of uh, terminal velocity, rise velocity of a single bubble? Answer all. So, all the forces are equally important for calculation of the rise velocity. Okay. Last question, for uh, horizontal slug flow, which relationship is not correct? So, we are having four equations, uh, gravitational pressure drop is equals to 0, <laughs> frictional pressure drop is equals to 2 f f rho f j square by d. Once again, gravitational pressure drop is equals to 2 f f rho f j square by d and u b is equals to c 1 into j. Probably you have understood which one is the correct one, obviously part c is not the correct answer. Hope you have liked this lecture. Thank you.